click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the oxidizing property of the KMnO4 in acidic medium, in basic medium as well as in neutral medium. And now in this topic we are going to talk about the structure of magnet as well as permagnet ion. So what is the structure? This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So friends, in this topic I am going to talk about the structure of magnet ion as well as permagnet ion. So now let me discuss about the magnet ion. So in this case, the manganese is the central atom and out of which basically we can understand that is this can undergo through hybridization process. So the magnet ion is what I am going to talk about. So in that case, basically the manganese is the central atom while it has been surrounded by the oxygen atoms over here. So as you can see, that is, there is a double bond between this oxygen atom and this manganese atom and talking about this oxygen atoms, this oxygen atom forms a single bond. So the manganese atom it undergoes through sp3 hybridization and that's the reason that the structure it has been found to be tetrahedral and talking about this bond so therefore this bond is nothing but a double bond as we can see over here so this arises because of the presence of the p orbital for the oxygen atom and the presence of the d orbital for the manganese atom and that's the reason that the overlapping of the p as well as the d orbital takes place in such a manner that is there is a formation of a pi bond here as well as pi bond here so talking about the structure as I have discussed that is it is nothing but it is a tetrahedral geometry that is what we have got over here while this oxygen atom and this oxygen atom they both will be on the plane while among this one of them would be above the plane and the one will be below the plane and that by making a structure of that is tetrahedral just like pyramid and talking about the color of it. So it has been found that is the manganate ions are basically green in color. So this is nothing but the structure of that is the magnet ion and now let me discuss about the structure of per magnet ion. So in this case basically it is very much similar to that of the magnet ion. The only difference is what we can find here is this is a double bond oxygen as we can see over here. Here it will be oxygen which will be single bonded and here there will be a presence of double bond with this oxygen atom. So therefore this is nothing but KMnO4 or we could also call it as per magnet ion. So talking about the color of it, so the color is purple in color because we understand that is the potassium per magnet is basically dark purple in color. So therefore this are the color difference and talking about the structure, so both have the structure that is having a tetrahedral geometry and now let me discuss about the magnetic property. So suppose if we are talking about this magnet ion, so in that case the magnet ion has an oxidation state of plus 6, so that means there is an un paired electron and that is only one unpaired electron making this to be having a paramagnetic property while talking about this one so this has an oxidation state of plus seven having zero electrons in the d orbital if we talk about so that's the reason this is diamagnetic so based on that we have also discussed about the structure as well as the magnetic property based on this oxidation state as well as the electronic configuration so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much